Hi guys, it's Tuesday, so it's Down and Dirty Woods Craft. Stay with me. Okay guys, today we're going to make a very quick and easy project that's very helpful in the primitive camp, and that's a pot scrubber. Now, you can make it out of any kind of flexible material, small twigs, small vines, certain grasses, things like that. I'm gonna make mine out of broom sage. It's anything you can get that you can bundle up to do this, but it's one of those things you don't think about until you really need one. Now, when we're cooking in a, a pot in a primitive setting, etc., sometimes we get distracted and sometimes things get burned or things just scorch on the bottom or etc. And that's when we've got to find a way to kind of scrub it out of a pot. Now, the common wisdom is just go to the stream and get some sand. Not every place has sand available. I go to a lot of places that you get up next to the water source, it's this black gooey mud that stinks to high heaven. It's not something I want to be cleaning a pot with. So these are what we're gonna make up. Now, what you're gonna need is something Something of grasses, something of twigs, vines, something that is small and kind of flexible, okay? How much do you need? About one hand's worth is more than enough for what we're going to do. Don't worry about making all the ends perfectly level. We're going to get to that in just a second. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our bank line, and we're going to find a good sturdy pole or a tree or something for us to hook to and use as our pull tight. Stay with me and I'll just the camera okay, we're gonna start with going. something good and sturdy that I can anchor to. I'm gonna take my bank line. Now how much? Well, it's gonna take probably a couple of feet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off, say, oh, three, four feet, something like that. And I'm gonna come up here to my pole, to my hold and I'm gonna wrap it around, make myself a clove hitch right quick. Just like this. There. Pull that tight. And I can let the rest of the bank line go down and get out of the way. Now, I got my line secure, so it's something I can pull again. I'm now going to take my material. Start with the big end. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a loop. Reach up and create another loop. Now all that is is a loop. Just twist it over and make a loop. Then I'm going to twist it over and make another loop. And I'll put those two loops together. I'm going to take that end of that material I'll put it inside of that loop. Come up about oh six, a couple inches from the end of it. I'm going to pull back against the material, the my pull cord. Roll it down until it cinches up good and tight. Now we'll kind of put a little bit of body weight on it. I'm going to start rolling, just like this. Overhand, simply rolling. As I do, I'm advancing it up to make the handle. See? I'll get you close up here in a minute. I get up here to the pole, about where I want, and that's more than big enough. I'm going to slack my line where it comes from the source, or in this case, the bank line. And then come up here at the top. And I'll go around pulling my finger up. Pulling my finger up. And I'll go underneath my finger back to that loop I've just created. Cold fingers don't want to work real well this morning. 
pull her tight. Do it again. Go with my finger, come up, go underneath my finger, and cinch it down. And pull it good and blood tight, like that. Now come around and anchor it off, tie it off. This bank line is really good for this because it will cinch up on itself good and tight and stick. Now, now we're going to do the trimming. start on the end it's going to be my pot scrubbing in and I'm going to take off any long sharp sticker ups so it's relatively an even size and I'm going to go above where I cut where I tied and I'm going to cut there same way just like that give a tap and there we are oh. and here we are those edges of that sage are perfect for scrubbing a pot. Very abrasive, yet not going to scratch it up, but it will abrasive and take it out of there. This is something that I would make when I got there real quick out of whatever resource I had, and I'd use it. Now that little tab I left, that would be tied into a loop and made to hang up over here on the end of my fire set or whatever, so it's quick in access so I can clean up. Now what did this cost me? A couple of minutes and about oh two feet of bank line which I can recover when I'm done I just gotta cut it or unhook it and throw the material away save my bank line and so for a quick down and dirty quick tool for the camp a little dingle stick idea a pot scrubber now what else could this be used for you can gather up and bundle up stuff like this to make bedding don't pull it as tight but you can take the big grasses and form a loom and stick it the bank line into it and cinch it up and have a mat in order to lay on or to sit on in very wet conditions. You can take bundles of sticks like you see me done there, but you can make it big like this and you bundle it at the bottom so it stands up and stand it up on wet and muddy ground and build a fire up here on top, sort of like a Swedish torch. We used to call that a swamp torch little things that you can do that make your life a whole lot better hope this gives you some ideas guys please leave any questions and comments below until next time i'm blackie for shaman's forge woodscraft wishing you safe journeys have a great day guys